guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Now, when's the last time you've seen a Silverstone gray metallic Alfa Romeo on the channel, whether it's a Giulia or Stelvio? Here's one right now and I have to show it off to you guys because this Silverstone gray metallic with the aluminum double wide spoke wheels actually looks kind of fresh. So this is just going to be a quick brief overview because of the fact that it's pretty standard as far as the TI spec goes on this specific car. So I just wanted to go over it very quickly with you guys just so you can see the spec and appreciate it because I don't see too many Silverstone gray metallic alphas. Maybe it's not a popular color. You guys let me know if you actually like this color. I mean, silver is normally a pretty, you know, under the radar, pretty subtle spec. And with this here, I think that the gray metallic looks good with the double wide spoke wheels and the red calipers, but the black interior again makes it very subtle. So let me know how you guys are feeling about this spec. Let's check it out. So here at Maserati Alfa Romeo of Daytona Beach comes in a new 2021 Alfa Romeo Giulia Ti, and it is done in Silverstone gray metallic for the exterior finish. You have the double wide spoke aluminum finished wheels, and you have the red caliper. So I kind of want to show off this spec. It's very subtle as far as the options. I think it only has just under $1,300 of options, which is three options um, in particular that is on this Ti model. So again, very simple, very to the point. Now, what I really want to go over was this metallic flake paint. Now, this is a $660 option, and that is a $60 upcharge compared to the previous years. Normally, they're $600 for these paints. So with that said, um, the Florida sun kind of disappeared for a second here, but you can still kind of see that metallic flake where the sun is kind of hitting on it. And you can see that it does give it some depth. All right, you see the aggressive lines in the Alfa Romeo right here up front. I'll kind of go up front and squat down so you guys can see that the metallic paint does give it a more aggressive finish. It gives it more of, you know, a 3D feel to it. And I do appreciate that even with silver. You know, silver is normally a kind of standard boring color to most, but set up with these by Xenon headlamps that are on right now. The Scudetto grill that's done with the aluminum finish, the Alfa Romeo insignia up front as well. I think it looks all right. I think it's doing pretty decently. Um, you know, as far as the looks department, it's not necessarily my favorite spec, but again, a lot of you guys will appreciate it, especially with these double wide spoke wheels. All right. So 19 inch wheels, red calipers. All right. White script, Alfa Romeo script, Brembo brakes up front. All right. Alfa Romeo insignia there as well. Then you have your continental tires here. I mean, it's a simple standard again spec, but with the aluminum finish, how do you like it against the Silverstone gray? So we'll kind of step back. And what do you think? I mean, is it too matchy matchy or do you think that, you know, uh, maybe maybe black wheels would do better with this? You know, not everybody loves the black sporty stuff. You know, everybody's blacking out everything these days. But I mean, you can get it done and it might look a little bit better. You guys let me know. And then you have the panoramic roof. So that makes this all glass and it makes your shark fin antenna in black. So that also kind of helps out the spec a little bit just to break things up. So between the glass on the side and the glass on the top, just gives it a little bit more flavor, I think. I don't know. What do you guys think? Down below, let me know. All right, then going to the rear, not much to speak about. Same Alfa Romeo stuff that you're used to. Um, it's a standard spec, so, you know, full LED tails, Julia badge, Alfa Romeo insignia, and then regular chrome exhaust tips and regular diffuser. All right, so it's not like it's a, you know, sport version or anything like that where you'll get the more aggressive diffuser and there's no black package on these. You can only get the black package on a TI Sport, which will black out the exhaust tips. So it's what you're used to again for the Alfa Romeo Julius that you've seen before. All right, so again, I just kind of wanted to go around this and then I'll go inside really quick just so you can see it, just to say I showed you. But I do kind of miss seeing Silverstone gray metallics around just because it's something different. And you know, not a lot of people are popping up with these. So figured I'd uh, give you guys a glance. Okay, so inside, as I mentioned, it is pretty standard. All right, so black on black, Nero on Nero. Now I got that AC cranking because it is 97 degrees, as you guys can see there. It is hot here. Summers in Florida are just crazy. All right, so I'll turn it down a little bit, sweat for you guys a little bit. Um, yeah, standard inside, all right? Leather wrap steering wheel, the uh, start stop button on there. No driver assistance packages, as you can see, these are blank. There's no um, lane keep assist over there or anything like that. Standard buttons that you're used to seeing. Plastic up top, plastic down bottom. You know, so it's, it's, it's chill. Standard seats, standard seating there. All right. The gray headliner, you do have that big panoramic roof. 
which helps out in here, gives a lot of that natural light to show off what is already a nice looking interior without a lot of added options. All right, you get your touchscreen standard, all right, cup holders, uh, dual vac, uh, dual vac, dual climate HVAC, all right, eight speed ZF transmission, two track system, parking brake key holder, all right, your um, infotainment buttons here, shortcuts, all right, radio controls there, and dynamic mode. Uh, natural mode and advanced efficiency for your driving modes there. And I'm going over this very quickly. If you guys haven't seen my videos before, make sure you go check out the previous ones where I dive a lot deeper into these cars. Um, you know, you do have the TFT screen up there, big uh, bright gauges, all right, and the nice aluminum finish on that. I mean, again, pretty chill, pretty standard spec. Something you do have on this, because it is a TI model, is the heated seats and heated steering wheel. So I kind of skipped over that. But you can see the heated steering wheel button there and the heated seating buttons for the passenger and driver's seats. Now, you do not have cool seats for these yet. Alfa Romeo has not implemented that into any of their cars yet, which on a day like today would definitely be clutch. But maybe for the next models, maybe we'll get some cool seats. Um, but yeah, that's the inside of this. And again, just before I do one more quick spin around, all you see out there is Lenare White, which looks very close to Silverstone Metallic, but once you get up on it, it's like a baby bluish kind of metallic paint with it. And then you see Alpha White and other colors that incorporate, but you do not see any Silverstone Metallic, even Grigio um, out there, nice dark gray. But again, nothing like this color. But I'm wondering, guys, you got to tell me, is this color too boring for the Alpha Male lineup? All right. Is this one slept on or is it really too boring? Is it you know, just a color that nobody desires. And that's maybe why we don't see it too often. Maybe that's why we only have one here. You guys gotta let me know, cause I'm definitely curious about that. Now I'll go on there in the sticker um, so you guys can see the price and breakdown and everything um, in just a second here. But yeah, I just want to do one more quick spin around this thing just to see if you guys are, you know, kind of missing it how I am or appreciating how I am for the moment, or is this just, you know, a one-time thing now forget about it the next day you guys let me know all right guys and i know again i didn't go over the performance specs or the trunk space or anything like that again this was a quick run through but to give you your brief overview 280 horsepower 306 pound feet of torque still to 60 and 5.5 top speed 149 and you have your hbz zf transmission all that stuff you can see here um just quick overview but if you guys want to check out my other videos i go deeper into these alfa romeo julius now forty three thousand two hundred dollars for the base price for the Silverstone Gray Metallic, all right? Then after you add the three options I said, that was just under $1,300, you're looking at $46,155. If that doesn't necessarily add up from what I said, $1,495 for the destination, so I didn't count that in. So after all is said and done, that is your total price with four years, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper, and for your powertrain and your fuel economy, 27 combined city and highway, 24 city and 33 highway, and premium fuel for these cars. Now your optional equipment for the TI, all right, it comes, TI comes with a few things already. So if you don't see, you know, a couple of extra things you've seen, like the panoramic roof and stuff in here, because it's not an option, it's standard with the TI model, which we'll see in just a second. But Silverstone Gray Metallic, as I mentioned to you guys, $660 because it has gone up from the $600 charge in the previous years. Wireless charging pad, $300, all right? So we do have a wireless charger in here as well. And the color brake calipers, $500, all right? So those are your three options. With that destination charge, that's what you're looking at. Now, standard for the TI, few different things that are extra here. All right, so we're gonna go over this very slowly so I don't have to read all of this for you guys because I'm sure you just love hearing my voice. Uh, but the biggest thing you'll notice is that's different for here is the heated front seats and the heated steering wheel and the panoramic roof and the wheel options. These are all things that you can get on the TI standard, all right? And then you can obviously, obviously option out different things um, than what's standard, but you get upgraded stuff standard, all right? So, you know, over the Sprint model, you'll get more options for the TI. Um, so that is everything we have there. And again, I know this is redundant for some of you guys, so this is why I'm keeping it real brief and calling it there. Let me know what you guys think. Hey guys, so what did you think? Did you like the Silverstone Gray Metallic? Did you like the specific spec on this 2021 Alfa Romeo Giulia Ti? 
Now with that said, let me know down in the comments below what you're feeling on this one and if you think that this color should be more popular than it is. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a thumbs up or a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we can have a bigger discussion on this Silverstone Gray Metallic Alfa Romeo Giulia Ti. Now with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo. That's just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate the love and the support as always. You can also check out the Rise Rise merch in case you guys want to get t-shirts, stickers, tank tops, everything Ron's Rise. So make sure you check that out as well. Now I'm also on TikTok, I'm on Facebook, Instagram. See everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo that doesn't make it here to the channel. Now make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And when you do, make sure you click that notification bell so you won't miss one Ron's Rise video. So with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Bronze Ride video. Peace.